In this video, we're going to learn how to navigate in the 3ds Max viewports. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about how to modify the viewports so that way we can work effectively in our 3D scenes. So by default, we have this quad layout for our viewports. We have the top viewport, the front viewport, the left viewport, and the perspective viewport. Let's say that we want to work in one specific viewport and we want that to go full screen. What we can do is we can hover over the viewport that we want to maximize and we're going to hit Alt and W. Notice that the perspective viewport has, um, has maximized. Let's hit Alt W to go back to that quad view and let's hover over the top view. Hit Alt W and there we go. Now hit it one more time to go back to the quad and let's hover over perspective again and hit Alt W. Now you'll see that that becomes very cumbersome if we're hitting Alt W to restore the quad layout and then we're trying to maximize a different one and, and trying to switch back and forth between those viewports can be a little bit tough and it can be very time consuming and whenever we're working in 3D we want to save time. So instead of hitting Alt W to restore and then choose which uh, viewport we want let's just use some keyboard shortcuts. So right now we're in the perspective viewport. If we want to go to our front viewport we'll simply hit F on the keyboard. If we want to go to our top view we'll hit T and if we want to go to our left view we'll hit L and if we want to go back to our perspective let's hit P. Now there are other viewports that we can use other than top front left and perspective we can access those by hitting V on the keyboard and that will bring up our viewports menu and you can choose a couple of others uh, that you might want to use. Let's left click outside of that and let's leave it in the perspective view. So now that we have learned how to work with those viewports, let's talk about navigating inside of these viewports. So the first thing that we want to learn about navigating is orbiting. So to orbit around an object in our 3D space, let's hold down Alt and the middle mouse button and you'll see that it orbits around the object. Now we can drag in any direction and see this object from any angle. Now if we want to pan in our viewport, and that means to move the camera in a parallel fashion, we'll just simply hold down the middle mouse button and pan the camera around. Then if we want to zoom in on an object, we'll just simply use the middle mouse wheel and we'll scroll that forward to zoom in and scroll it back to zoom out. Now you'll notice that with the zoom, it's an incremental zoom. And sometimes, whenever we're trying to zoom in on a very specific spot, we can overshoot that or not get close enough with this mouse wheel. So instead of using the mouse wheel, let's hold down Control, Alt, and then middle mouse click, and then drag, and you'll notice that we can smoothly zoom in and out on an object. Now notice that little green sphere. All that is indicating is where you last clicked whenever uh, you use that, that, that zoom. So let's hold down Control and Alt and drag in here. You'll notice that it zooms in on that particular point. Now let's um, st take a step back and let's talk about what happens if we lose our object whenever we're navigating in the viewport. So this can happen very easily. Let's, let's go ahead and pan way off here and let's maybe orbit and I've just lost the object. I can't find it anywhere. I can see it in my scene explorer, but I just don't see it in my viewport. A way that we can get back to a specific object is by selecting it in the scene explorer and then hitting Z on the keyboard and that will zoom in on the selected object. Now let's say that we don't have the object selected and we lose it again and we hit Z what this will do is it will zoom in on all of the objects in the scene and it will try to frame all of those in the viewport. So if you want to zoom in on a specific object, make sure you have it selected and then hit Z. All right, so now that we have talked about uh, modifying the layouts of our viewports and how we can work with those and then how to navigate in the viewports and then also what happens if we lose an object, how we can get that back, what we want to do now is we want to move on into our next lesson. We want to talk about creating 3ds Max project folders because that's going to help us to stay organized whenever we're creating our CG productions.